Hi guys, welcome back. It's Lisa. Today I've got a quick Dollar Tree DIY for you. I am going to be doing a monogram letter and I'm going to be doing this letter in plaid. And so what you'll need is you'll need a monogram letter. I picked this letter up at Walmart. So you can get that at Walmart. I have got some wrapping paper here from Dollar Tree. And also I have some of this postal wrapping paper from Dollar Tree. This is a leftover frame that I'm going to be reusing. Got some Mod Podge from Dollar Tree, a brush from Dollar Tree, scissors, and you'll also need um, some utility knives. And I picked these up at Dollar Tree as well. So let's get started. Go ahead and cut this paper and I'm cutting that paper to make the backing for the project and then I'm just going to go ahead and cut out a little piece of the plaid wrapping paper so that I can go ahead and get started on putting together the monogram in plaid Now I'm just going to use my utility knife with the blade extended pretty long so that I can cut it around these edges of this letter. I positioned the monogram so that the plaid pattern would be to my liking and you can do the same with yours. And You don't have to use this particular plaid, you can use any plaid wrapping paper of your choice. But I happen to like this one because it has a neutral background. And just make sure you cut around the entire letter and if the blade starts to get dull just uh, adjust it so that you have a nice sharp edge. Now I'm going to go ahead and get started on the backing, the background for the monogram. You just want to make sure you smooth that out so that there's no air bubbles behind the paper. And same thing with your monogram. You want to go ahead and smooth the Mod Podge all over the top of the letter. Make sure there's no bubbles or any puddles of Mod Podge. It needs to be a smooth layer. And then we're just going to adhere the letter uh, cut out into position. And there you go. Isn't that beautiful? You can use this on a wreath. There's so many ways you could use this. I did go over the top of it with Mod Podge to protect it as well. That's optional. And here I have taken the monogram letter and adhered it to the glass of the picture frame and created a vignette for Christmas. I think it turned out beautifully. This is just one of the many ways you can use plaid for the holidays for Christmas in your home. I would like to thank each of you for stopping by Cozy Casita. You are always welcome. And if you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the future uploads. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for part two of my Plaid for Christmas series.